Hey guys, Austin here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial guide here on the channel. I don't do many of these, but considering some people have been having trouble apparently with installing Pixelmon 1.20 into Minecraft, I figured I'd make a quick guide on how to do that. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to install Pixelmon into your Minecraft version. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Java installed on your computer. If you don't know how to get Java, literally just Google Java download, it'll come up and you can select which version best suits your computer needs. But you need to have Java, otherwise the files that you're downloading for, for Minecraft, you won't be able to access or open them because that's how files are read through Minecraft through JavaScript. So you need to have Java installed on your PC. I'm getting that out of the way before anyone comments it saying, but when I try to open, anyway, let's just get right into this. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go on to Google. You know that beautiful place that you can just Google things? Yeah, do me a favor guys, Google Forge and and if it doesn't come up instantly, Google Minecraft Forge or Forge Files, something like that. But you're going to want to click on this right here. It says Downloads for Minecraft Forge. Go to Forge. Make sure 1.20.1 selected and download the latest to recommend. It's completely up to you, but I always go with latest when it's available just because it's safe to be in the newest version. So you don't have to worry about a mod in the future being like, I need to have this specific version of Forge. So we're going to click installer. We are going to wait until the skip appears the top right hand corner. Do not click anything on your screen. My screen is white because I have an ad blocker thing on. But typically, this is where a bunch of, of weird spam ads will appear. Don't worry about that. Ignore everything besides this skip button. If this skip button is not there for you at the top right of your screen, something has messed up already. And quite possibly, you have something installed in your computer that's preventing websites from creating pop-ups or ads or something like that. So just make sure you get out of it. Anyway, click skip. It will install forge and that will go somewhere on your computer be your downloads folder wherever you have files set to download you're gonna need that for later so just keep it on hand next what i want you guys to do is open up minecraft and make sure you are playing on minecraft 1.20.1 on the launcher so we're launching minecraft i'm going to switch it to 1.20.1 just to have it as the base default just so you can see obviously i already have forge installed so it came up as that by default, but if you guys are used to playing vanilla Minecraft, it should just be Minecraft 1.20.1. You're going to want to go ahead and run that once if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1. If you have, don't worry about it, but I purposely am doing this just to show you that you can, like, you, you should probably do this just to make sure things are working. For anyone who has previously played Pixelmon in 1.16, you're trying just to do this from that version of Minecraft, you might be having issues, and I recommend, if you don't mind, deleting your entire .minecraft content, which I can show you at the end of this video if you stay tuned. I'll quickly just go over that at the end. But now, as you can see, we have entered Minecraft 1.20.1. Now that you've done that, close out. Now, you see that forge that we installed? Double-click it to open it, and it should immediately open this mod system installer file right here. Do not worry about what this other force file that created stuff. That just happens. It helps to install Minecraft. You shouldn't have to click anything on this screen. You should just have to click OK. And it should instantly start installing Forge. Now, if you're about to tell me, but Austin, when I double click it, it tells me cannot open program or trying to open it under Word or Excel or some weird other thing. Guys, again, you need to have Java installed on your computer. Otherwise, a Java file will not be able to be open. And if you're wondering how to switch it or tell it to open with Java, just right click the file, click open with, and Java TM platform SE binary should be the option for you to switch to. If that is not there, you do not have Java installed on your computer. Anyway, now that we've installed that, we're going to launch Minecraft once again. This time when you launch Minecraft, however, it should automatically have the Forge version selected that you have installed. It does it for me because I, I already had it installed. And a few little tidbits of information for you before we get further into this. If you want to actually edit and allocate more RAM to your Minecraft, because Pixelmon normally requires at least 4 gigabytes of RAM allocated. By default, Minecraft only has 2. You're going to want to go to Installations. Under Forge right here, you will click the dots and click edit. And then you're going to click more options. At the very bottom here where it says JVM arguments. By default, this will say XMX2G. If you want it to run more than 2G, switch it to either 4 or 6. I have a very good computer, so I'm switching it to 6 gigabytes. Typically, though, people only have about an 8 gigabyte computer. If they're just running like average or if they have a laptop or something, maybe even 4 gigabytes only. So... If, your if you know your computer specs, then you'll know how to worry about this. But for anyone else, just make sure you are running it at least four to run Pixelmon. Click save. And then you should just be able to click play or launch it however you want. And it will give you this little thing saying, you're about to play Minecraft modded. Are you sure you want to do that? Just say I understand and click play. 
if you know what you're doing. All that's essentially saying is you are running a modified version of Minecraft, so we're not responsible if something breaks. And you guys should know that also. You shouldn't have to complain to Mojang on their forum pages or tell them that their, their game's broken. It's not their fault. Anyway, once you have launched this, if you have no mods prior to being in, like, if you've done this fresh, it should only say at the bottom left-hand corner, two mods loaded. You might be asking yourselves, but Austin, I haven't installed any mods. Why are these mods here? Are you trying to hack my computer? The answer is no. This is typical for Forge to always have bit a sort of, they're like invisible mods. They're not actually in your mods folder, but this is its way of saying that Forge is installed and you are now running a modded client after that's done you can quit out of this and what i want you to do is go to your start menu right click and click run and type percent app data percent after that a window will open having all the files on your computer you're going to want to go to your dot minecraft double click it and open it up and it should look like similarly to this i have other files sometimes because i have run other mods and stuff but the mods folder is what you want to click on open it and you will see this is now blank it should be blank if anything is in, in your mods folder right now that isn't that wasn't there prior or if you still have leftover mods from 1.16.5 you will not be able to play 1.20 mod minecraft you have to delete them so just do that also if you're unsure and want to start from scratch again delete everything in your dot minecraft folder that's the best case scenario i always do that when i start new versions of minecraft that are way different than the previous version it just helps to make things a little less messy but that's up to you at the end of the day if you so desire anyway we're going to go on to reforge.gg now the pixelmon website yes i don't use curse forge to download pixelmon i use actually their main website which is reforge.gg you're still welcome to use curse forge if you'd like but this just makes things a lot cleaner. You will now see a few changes. You will notice that 1.16.5 is now shifted to the left side where 1.12 used to be. And 1.20.1 is center stage on the right. And it says the version names and everything. It even does tell you what Forge version you need to at least have installed in order to run this. Keep that in mind always. That's why I told you guys to install the most recommend, the latest version of Forge not recommended. And you'll notice my video is actually featured here. So thank you Pixelmon Devs for deciding to feature my video on the page. And yes, if you guys didn't know, I have reviewed the most recent version of Pixelmon. You guys should check it out. Anyway, click download on the alpha version. You'll be brought to a similar screen as when you were downloading Forge. Again, top right hand corner, click skip, and it will download the mod. And once it's downloaded that mod, again, it will go to either your downloads folder, wherever you have your mod, your folders, your files set to download to on your computer, it'll go there. Once it has gone there, you can close out of these. You don't need to be here anymore. You will notice Pixelmon is now here. Again, your folder should still be open the hat for your dot Minecraft. Go into mods, drag and drop Pixelmon in there. Or if you have a Mac, I don't know how Macs work. So before anyone comments saying I have a Mac, I'm telling you guys right now, I don't do Mac computers. I don't know how those work. That's completely up to you to figure out. Anyway, once you've installed that mod or any other mods that you so desire, start launching Minecraft. I typically, for beginners, I would advise you only to have one or a few mods installed don't start cramming mods in there like you've seen your favorite youtuber do aka me it, it sometimes doesn't work it can cause crashes if you just want to play pixelmon install pixelmon and maybe a few other mods that are good to run with pixelmon i've actually made a video it's a little dated now i should probably update it but i've actually made a video talking about some mods that i personally like using with pixelmon you guys should check it out if i remember it'll be in the cards top right hand corner or you can just look it up on my channel but if you have installed the mod correctly, you will notice now at the bottom left, no longer says two mods loaded, now says five mods loaded, even though we only installed Pixelmon. Again, why does that happen? I don't know, Forge is weird. You will notice that Pixelmon is installed because your screen now looks like this. You have the Pixelmon tab, you have this weird combining join the team tab. That, that's a bug that'll be fixed in the future. And now you are free to play Pixelmon to your heart's content. And again, I would load into a world, but this is a DOM Minecraft I always use for stuff, so I don't want to load up a Minecraft world just to show you. It, it should be clear. You know what? I'll just do it. Create new world. Just, just so you guys can see, I can prove that now Pixelmon does work. Look, you can see the Pokemon. They're at the top. We're loading into a new world. And while we are loading into an... Oh, I've actually never seen them go around the border like this. That's so adorable. While we're loading into a new world, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it was helpful to you. It should be helpful to you. If it was, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Remember, guys, every like, every nice comment. Well, it doesn't have to be a nice comment. But every comment, every bit of interaction on a YouTube video helps the video grow. It helps promote it to new people. And if you think I did a good job, then why not click the like button? And if you're the type of person that likes to actually use your playlist liked videos, then just leave a comment and say, hey, 
great job thanks for the help and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below and i promise i'll answer you even if you are the 50th person asking the same question all you had to do is read the other comments to get your answer anyway and i hope to see you all in the next video have a great day everyone stay safe goodbye